That means there's just nothing in you that is not full of wonders. And so I'm thanking you in advance for all your children who are here again, listening to me and trusting you for the fruit of the womb. Father, my request for them is that you will not give them just any child and that you will give to them wonderful children. And please, Father, do it very soon. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I'm sure you know that our theme this month is the bright and morning star. And our text today is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 41. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 41. There's one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars. For one star differeth from another star in glory. One star differs from another star in glory. Beloved, not all children are born to be stars. Not all children are born to be stars. Even in a set of twins, one may be vastly different from the other. Romans chapter 9, from verse 10 to 13. Romans 9, 10 to 13. The Bible made it clear that when the first set of twins were to be born, even before they were born, God had already said one will be superior to the other that he had already decided which one he would love and which one he would hate. And he's the Almighty. As a matter of fact, if you read it further down, he said, if you have any query, ask him. <laughs> it's like uh, by people used to say, God passed judgment, and you say you are appealing. Who is going to be your lawyer? Who is going to be your judge? So even in a set of twins, one could be a star, the other could be something else. Then among star sons, children that are stars, one may outshine the other. That's why that, what that text says. It says, Stars differ from stars in glory. For example, Isaac was a star son. 
Genesis chapter 21 from verse 1 to 7. Genesis 21 from verse 1 to 7. Oh, that boy, throughout his life, he was giving joy to the parents. Never, ever give them trouble. Very submissive, so submissive, he was submissive even unto death. He was a star son. He's the kind of son that somebody will have and say, ah, Lord, thank you. I waited long for this one, and just like uh, the prophecy that came uh, in September, this one is worth waiting for. It was a star son. But he wasn't as bright in glory as Jacob. Because even though Isaac became great, so great that a nation was envying him, it was Jacob that became a whole nation. Genesis 22, from verse 24 to 28. Genesis 32, Genesis 32, from verse 24 to 28. You only remember when he wrestled with that man, and the man finally said, okay, what's your name? And he said, my name is Jacob. And the angel of the Lord said, your name will no longer be Jacob. Your name shall be Israel. Today there is still a nation called Israel. That nation is not called Isaac. It's not even called Abraham. It's called Israel. So Jacob shone brighter than Isaac. But Joseph shone brighter than Jacob. Why? As we read in Genesis chapter 50 from verse uh, 15 to 20, Genesis 50 from verse 15 to 20, when his brothers came and said, okay, our father is dead now. Please, we are your slaves. Help us. He said, ah. <laughs> you don't understand. But for what you did for me, to me, but for you pushing me to where I am, our nation will not have been preserved. Joseph preserved the nation. Because of what use is a nation if the nation perished? It was Joseph that preserved the nation of Israel at that critical moment. But Joseph wasn't as bright as Moses. Yes, Joseph preserved the nation, brought the nation to Egypt, only for the nation to become slaves. Slaves that were not conquered in war. <laughs> Visitors that were once highly respected, one way or the other, they were turned to slaves. But Moses came on the scene and delivered the nation out of bondage. Exodus chapter 12, from verse 29 to 36. Exodus 12, 29 to 36. Not only did he bring the nation out of bondage, he saw to it that everything they had labored for for 430 years, they were paid for it in one single night. They got their salaries back. And then, Wonderful as Moses was, it was Joshua that brought the nation to their promised land. But for Joshua, they would have ended in the wilderness. So, thank God for Isaac. He was a star boy. But thank God for Jacob, 
who became a nation. Thank God for Joseph, who preserved the nation. Thank God for Moses, who delivered the nation out of bondage. But thank God for Joshua, who brought the nation to their promised land. So you can see, as we can go on and on and on, you can see stars differing from stars in glory. And then came the brightest of all in the Old Testament, John the Baptist. According to the testimony of the bright and morning star himself, he said in Matthew 11, verse 11, Matthew 11, verse 11, he said, of all men, but of a woman, whichever one you want to consider, he said there had not a reason a greater than John the Baptist. Isn't that wonderful? What's the conclusion? Hey, go to God and say, Lord, I don't want just any child. I want bright children that will be as bright as the morning star. I want the very best that you can give to anybody, the very, very best. You see, because in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8, Matthew 7 from verse 7 to 8, he said, ask. All you need to do is ask. And then the bright morning star himself said in John chapter 16, verse 24, John 16, verse 24, that incredible passage in the Bible, he said, up to now you have asked nothing. Now ask to your joy be full. Ask to your joy be full. So I'm going to release you to talk to God, to ask him. Not just, not just a star child. But a child that will be so bright, it, it, it will shine for the whole world to see. Shine as a brighter morning star. But before you pray, I'm sure you know, we've said this again and again, but there might be one or two people who are listening to us for the first time. The only prayer God will hear from me, sinner, is have mercy on me. He said in his word, he said, the hand of the Lord is not shutting, that he cannot save. Neither is there heavy that he cannot hear. He said, but your sin will stand between you and God. He won't even hear. Isaiah chapter 59, verses 1 and 2. Isaiah 59, 1 and 2. That's why if you are not born again, if your sins have not been washed away in his blood, do yourself a favor. Come to him now. First of all, ask him to save your soul before you begin to ask for children that will shine as a bright and morning star. I will pray for those of you who want salvation now. And then I will include in my prayer a prayer for those of you about to go to him as children of God. And then I will release you to talk to God for as long as you want. My Father, my God, I want to thank you for all those who are surrendering their life to you now. Please have mercy on them. Receive them. Save their souls. Wash them clean with your blood. Amen. Everything that can stand between them and the answer to their prayers, Father, remove it. Amen. Answer them by fire today. Amen. Let them become true children of God. 
And Father, as many of them that are your children, including those who are just joining your family now, ah, please, Lord, they are asking you for the very best. Please give them the very best. Amen. Answer them by fire. Amen. Answer them very, very soon. Amen. Do it, Lord, and we'll give you all the glory. Amen. Give them children that will shine for you. Amen. So the forces of darkness will be driven out of this world. Amen. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord.